murder. Um, no, no, no. Okay, microphone's on. I, I, oh, I've broken the dinosaur. I've broken the dinosaur. This is my, uh, trying to do it one-handed. Okay, haven't I've have broken it. And actually try and fix him. Come on, there we go. That's what he's supposed to look like. Um, there is two more, but they're in a different location. And then, um, they might find their way back here, but nah, they're bad, I don't know. It is a Monday for 4.40. Tom's on his way. Tom and I are on a job tomorrow in Bracknell, so southwest London, that sort of area. So it's all right to get to from here, kind of go around the M25. Tom's coming down. Originally, I couldn't do the job, so I got Tom to do the job, and then my job got cancelled. So now I'm on the job as well, which is fun, because I like to work with Tom, obviously. And it's just good that we, you know, we haven't worked, seen it, well, we haven't seen each other in a while, but we haven't worked on a job with each other for a long time. So very excited about that. And, you know, being on the road again, even if it's only for a short amount of time. Usually for jobs, we travel together and it's fun. It's like a little road trip, uh, get some stories, but you know, um, this is only a daily, so uh, not much going on. Then he's going to drop me off at Reading tomorrow, and then I'm going to get the train home, which is a shame, but he's got another job in Manchester, day after, Wednesday, so he's got a rush off. Um, I asked Josh to look at my uh, Lego minifigures, and um, some of them are actually quite good. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing all right. I think uh, it's, been a, it's been a crazy day. It's been a a weird weekend. West Ham lost uh, against Liverpool at the weekend. Dagnum lost against Hartlepool. Got a few things planned for this week. Um, continuing my driving lessons, finding more work, doing current work. But a lot of meetings on the student TV side. A lot of student TVs have started at the moment and I'm the training officer for the NASTA, which is the governing body above the student TV station. So I, I did my YSTV stuff, now I'm part of NASTA. NASTA organises stuff like awards and activities and genuinely just helps the station. Uh, that's my role anyway. I'm I'm the training officer, so I will be kind of the, the, the point of call for the stations to speak to for NASTA, which is fun. It's a fun job. I've really enjoyed it so far. It's a lot of work, yeah, sure, but also it's very rewarding to see these stations really thrive, not just my previous station, YSTV, who are also doing fantastically. Just all around good vibes. I'm about to get a lot more busier with that. A lot more work coming up related to that. Uh, I booked some comedy tickets. I'm going to go see my friend Rohan. He's performing at the Watford Fringe this year, so very excited. Max's movie suggestions, or um, mmms, or MMS. M MMS? MMS, that sounds like a drug. Mmms, Max's movie suggestion. Add a little segment, like it's TV. Yeah, Max's movie suggestion of the week. I've, I've, I, it's been a bit of a dark week. Stuff I've been watching. I watched the Internal, Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind, which it's, it's soul destroying. I'm very emotional when I'm watching stuff, so if you fancy a good cry, which is absolutely fine, go watch Turn of Sunshine and Spotless Mind. Obviously, if crying isn't your thing, maybe watch something else. It's very deep, it's dark, it's good. I'm only realising now how many hats I have. I have... I have so many, I can't, I don't know how to store them as well. I've got this peg thing, this peg thing, I'm sure you can see. It's supposed to hold my hat. It's only got like five slots and I've just ordered another one today. But I have some fun ones, like I just bought these two new Huff hats and Huff's a brand I quite like. I don't know how cool these are, but these are like flat caps, they're, they're quite nice to wear on set, especially if it's sunny. And also I like to think I look like a surfer or I skateboard or something. Also one thing I've realised of why I like hats so much is, well first of all I'm bald, uh, but also number two, see this one, for some reason, they're the same hat, but for some reason this one sticks out more at the side. I do like this one actually, I think this uh, goes real well, but I just don't, it's very square. I have no eyebrows. See, no eyebrows. If I'm being honest, it sucks. It's probably, I would, I'm more annoyed about losing my eyebrows than losing my hair, because eyebrows don't really glow, grow back. Don't really want to go without eyebrows for the rest of my life. Um, and it's part of alopecia, losing your eyebrows. It just makes me look a bit strange. I have a lot of bald people, naturally. They either have a, a massive fucking beard, and I have the genetics of a 13-year-old boy and can't grow anything. So, um, and also it just falls out if I do grow it. So I can't grow a beard, uh, or they have eyebrows and wear big glasses. And I can wear big glasses, I don't really own many, but one thing I like about hats is um, it creates this shadow so people can't tell. Only issue now is with hats, I love this hat. It's one of my favorite hats because it's got a bear on it. It, it does make me look a bit strange because of the proportions. Whereas if I had hair before, I'd wear it back like this, or I'd have hair coming out at different areas. And it's, it's like 50% of my face is now hat. And so it's like the right hat to head ratio. Um, I think this one looks okay. Uh, I don't know many hat shops that sell cool hats.
Tom. Hello. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, okay. Did you get enough sleep? Uh, yeah, I, how many hours was it? Uh, probably about six ish if we went to Oh, that's fine. Not too bad. These cookies is all butter, really. All butter. Stem ginger. Stem ginger. Yeah, mate. Yikes. Unbelievable. Good uh, for your health. It's good for your health. Oh, I can't. There's something wrong with my boot. There's a sneak in my boot. Okay, it's really early in the morning. We're well, Tuesday. Weird day to be on a job, but we are. Hopefully, I haven't forgot anything. Otherwise, it's a long drive back. I'd love to go to Thorpe Park right now. Thorpe Park? Yeah. I hate roller coasters. You hate roller coasters? Yeah, that's stupid. I haven't, I didn't know about this. I thought this building looks really cool. Look at this hotel. I want to stay in that hotel. I want to stay in that hotel. That's really... Good. It, it's wildly oversized. It's really weird. There's a lot of triangles involved. And I like that. I think it's cool. I don't know. It kind of looks like... It kind of looks like a German ski resort. Yeah. I mean, it's in yeah. the German Alps. But no, it's not. No. It's in Bracknell. 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 Uh, heart of city and culture. Um, job review. Tom, how was that? Uh, Easy. Yeah? Yeah, I... But a good type of easy, as in like it was easy oh, yeah. to do our job well, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, job's job, and we do this professionally, well, professionally. so, you know, job, job's you, job. You kept saying today, bread and butter, and that's exactly what it was. It was bread, bread and, butter. and butter. Bread and butter, pretty much. Um, and, um, yeah, lovely people to work with as well for a great charity. Uh, love that yeah, stuff, job. Charity works great. Because you feel like you're, um, you know, giving, giving back, to, giving the back world. to the world. Because obviously the world's given so much to me, uh, which is why I'm here in my VW up with Max Roach. Thanks, Tom. No, it's fine. Just drop me <laughs> off here. But no, it's a really good job. Uh, lovely people to work with, obviously, and got to use some cool kit. And um, hopefully, we're going to be working with them again. Same people. I think we made a good impression. Oh yeah, huge riz. Yeah, huge riz from us. Um, and yeah, now just. Well, Tom's driving up to Manchester tonight. I'm going to Reading to get the train home from Reading to home. home. I, if I'm feeling it, I might. I have got gym equipment in my bag. Um, so. That's why it's so bloody full. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, but only issue though, I haven't got anything to have a shower with, so sweaty bus home. Tom, you're driving to Manchester, not tomorrow, the day after for another job. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. For a... Uh, Advert for glasses, not the ones you wear in your eyes. Yeah, the ones you drink from. Yeah, very unusual job. Um, looking forward to it, sort of. Um, Lovely. Interesting one. I'm sure it will be. But, um, yeah, on with the, the rest of the journey. 